Good morning, everybody. Uh, Data Pioneer Southeast here on the uh, Windows 10 Tech News and Reviews website. It's a new YouTube channel. If you haven't gone there yet, I highly encourage you to do so. And I'll put a link down below. Um, you're on the site now if you're looking at this, so you can just go ahead and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that uh, bell for notifications so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I'm coming to you today, and I've got a new, I've got a headset. It's not a new headset, but I'm going to, starting something new, I'm putting myself in the picture, if you will, uh, to talk about my uh, website here, my new website, and I can make myself bigger, you know, and everything, but I'm just going to make myself smaller here and kind of get out of the way so I can uh, do this uh, review for you. I just happened to see this um, this particular article here. Uh, it's up on The Verge. Uh, dot com. It's one of my favorite uh, technology sites. And um, <coughs> it's called Microsoft's New Privacy Policy Admits Humans Are Listening to Some Skype and Cortana Recordings. Why did it take this long? I'm not a big fan of Cortana. Um, I, in fact, I disabled Cortana in my Microsoft Windows 10 Pro platform main PC. I do have Skype as well uh, on that platform. But uh, I've had a couple of uh, things happen with Cortana that kind of unsettling with me that led me to believe definitely that Cortana is listening to what I'm saying. Uh, and so this, that's what this article is about. And so let me just go ahead and walk you through this thing. So just like every other tech company that got caught with its hands in the cookie jar this year, hey there, Amazon, Apple, Google, and Facebook, we recently learned that Microsoft had been quietly letting human contractors listen to your Skype translations and Cortana voice recordings. That's right. They're not just AI. They're humans. But unlike Apple and Google, each of us, or each of which halted listening to some of these recordings after the revelations, Microsoft appears to be merely updating its privacy policy to admit that, yes, in fact, humans do review some of these recordings. One caveat here. Microsoft is only doing this for Skype's translation feature, not Skype calls. The company is, however, analyzing voice snippets from Cortana requests and exchanges, presumably across all platforms, including PC, where one might be more readily searching the web with more sensitive requests. Good point. Motherboard spotted this, uh, the changes, uh, which you can also read for yourself here here and here. So they've got three links out there on the article. Um, here are the key phrases that might clue you in. Quote, our processes or our processing of personal data for these purposes include both automated and manual or human methods of processing. Our automated methods often are related to and supported by our manual methods. And, quote, the build, train, and improve, to build, train, and improve the accuracy of our automated methods of processing, including AI. We manually review some of the predictions and inferences produced by the automated methods against the underlying data from which the predictions and inferences were made. For example, we made manually, we may, uh, we manually review short snippets of small samplings of voice data. We have taken steps to de-identify to improve our speech services, such as recognition and translation. And then thirdly, quote, when you talk to Cortana or other apps that use Microsoft speech services, Microsoft stores a copy of your audio recordings, that is to say, your voice data. This may include transcription of audio recordings by Microsoft employees and vendors, subject to procedures designed to prioritize users' privacy including taking steps to de-identify data requiring non-disclosure agreements with vendors and employees and requiring that vendors meet the high privacy standards set out in European law and elsewhere. It's true that systems built using machine learning like a majority of modern voice recognition and natural language processing ones generally need to be audited by humans in order to improve. It's not clear how a machine would tell a false positive unless a human points it out, annotates the data, and feeds it back into the system. And to Microsoft's credit, it offers a privacy dashboard where you can retroactively delete your voice data. That's a good thing. Also, Cortana seems like it's on the outs. But the scandal with all of these tech companies was that they didn't think 
to make it clear that humans read outsourced contractors would be listening to extremely personal details like people speaking their exact street address, uh, confidential medical information, or sex noises in the, into a voices or a voice assistance microphone rather, and let us proactively opt out. If we decide that's something we don't want to bring into our homes, Apple says it will have a future update that lets its customers opt out. Will other companies do the same? Now, will Microsoft do this? I don't think so. Uh, I've got my doubts about it. Um, Microsoft is a company that uh, loves to, to gather your data. They want to make you think that it's for their purposes to improve their platforms and their services to you and all. But you got to remember one thing here, folks. Uh, if you use Microsoft, uh, or any product rather, if it's not purely open source, but if you use especially a proprietary product like Microsoft Windows, I use Microsoft Windows Professional, you want to turn a lot of things off and gather data, telemetry especially, uh, Cortana definitely. Um, and why? Because you're a customer. You are the customer with Microsoft. Uh, bottom line here, guys, and I'll, I'll say this only once, uh, Microsoft uses you as a customer to, to line their pocketbooks, okay? If you don't believe that, then you just got, you got your head in the, in the sand. Um, Microsoft isn't doing this for your benefit. They're doing it for their benefit. They're doing it for their bottom line. So this is not a good thing. Uh, the new privacy policy, you might want to read that the next time that you um, – decide to either opt in or opt out of something. The fact that human beings are listening to your Cortana recordings and your Skype recordings, that's not good, in my opinion. And that's the reason I got rid of Cortana, to be honest. Uh, I found that Cortana was uh, recording some of my conversations with my wife in my living room. Uh, one day, I came in and uh, started doing something on the computer and Cortana piped up and said, I overheard your conversation where you were talking about this. I went ahead and put it in your calendar. Is that okay? Well, guess what, guys? That was not okay. And uh, that's the day I decided to get rid of Cortana in the Windows platform. That's a true story. Did not make that up. All right, so uh, this is Data Pioneer Southeast on the new Windows 10 news, tech news and reviews website. If you like this video, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to me. Hit that bell, and you'll get notified every time I put up a um, video. Hope you enjoyed it. Data Pioneer Southeast, out.